Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Fadiwa and welcome back to Go Go Nippon. Now in the last episode we were still stuck in the airport and we were talking about how to get around Japan and having a geography lesson and then having our character being all amazed because a card reader could read a card while the card is still in my wallet. I know, my character is just so stupid. I, it's, it's, it's just infuriating sometimes. So anyways, uh, let's get, get, get back into the story and let's continue. Hopefully we get to go home. Let's go to home, shall we? I just want to do that. Just touch your wallet in... Just touch your wallet to the IC card terminal and... Beep! Yeah! It also makes a noise! Yeah, 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 yeah! Noise! Ooh, you make a noise! Yeah, yeah, and I, I'm glad my character is just so fascinated about that. <laughs> that means I could pass through, yes! Are we there yet? Damn it, we're still in the airport. This is so useful. I don't even have to take it out of my wallet. It's really fun. Yes, taking a card out of your wallet is a hassle. Yes, yes, it saved you like a fraction of a second. Whoops. No time to get lost in Dot. I need to give in, give my special express ticket to the station attendant. Ah, yes. Great, now I can ride the Narita Express and so we can finally get the fuck out of this airport. Because in the last episode, I, I, I was getting so flustered. It's like, when do we get out of here? When do we get out of here? When do we get out of here? Cause be just because the, the airport is deserted. It looks deserted, but you you hear the background sound, so it's driving me a bit crazy. Oh no, the train's about to leave. Come on, hurry up. Okay, let's go, let's go, guys. Okay, let's go. I mean, ladies. Huh? Whoa, 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 wait a second, man. Come on, hurry up. Here, we're going. Okay, okay, Akira, calm down, calm down. You don't have to rush me. You know, I don't, unless uh, you like being rushed. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, don't pull me so hard. Yes. Yes, don't pull me too hard. <laughs> eh, wow, that's a shitload of ellipses. Shit. <laughs> Oh yes, 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 more ellipses, fantastic. Okay, more ellipses, ah yes, yes, ellipses galore, everyone. Ah, people, oh my god, there's people here, oh my god. <laughs> oh man, I kind of like how the train station is full of people, like the, the subway, I guess you could call it, and the airport is just devoid of people. Okay, let's see what's here. Okay, we have a lady right there who's uh, going to work and she's being late in uh... And who is this guy with the red hair? With a red backpack? In a blue shirt. Wow, <laughs> this guy must be... Has a good... is a fashionista. Eh, whatever, enough look at the background. <laughs> and we're here! <laughs> so this is Tokyo Station, eh? So, to pass out, hold your Sukiya up to the turnstile terminal, okay? And I bet this guy is going to be amazed again. So the numbers appear on the screen. What numbers? I don't see any numbers. Do you guys see any numbers on the screen on the right hand side? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see anything. Ah, I see! Must be the train fur and a cast remaining on my card. Okay, good job for figuring, figuring that out, uh, Einstein. Here we are, this is Tokyo Station. This is it! Wow, this is a train station? Yes, this is a train station. You haven't seen one before? Oh my god, my character is so stupid. Ah, uh, what the hell is wrong with me? Holy shit. I guess it must be since we got here on a train after all. No, man, we came here on a goddamn pony. This is a pony station. Fucking it. But there's just so many stores and restaurants and souvenir stores. You know what the store? I I've, I've been to I, I've never been to Japan, but I've been to uh, train stations in in uh, Hong Kong, and it's kind of exactly the same. You like in the subway, there's like a bunch of stores and restaurants. It's kind of cool, actually. It's not kind of, it's not ghetto like the stores, uh, like the subway stations in the uh, USA. <laughs> this is, this is less like a station and more like a shopping mall. What's, well, yeah, what's wrong? What's wrong, huh? Are you amazed by that as well, Vadiwa? <laughs> 
Oh, nothing. I was just thinking how big this station is. Yes, something else in this station is big. If you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. oh, man. That's true. Even Japanese people get lost in the Tokyo station if they're not used to it. Wow, I see. Yes. There are 14 lines in the station, including subways and bullet trains. Wow, 14 damn trains? Oh shit, that's a lot. <laughs> 14 lines? Yes, yes, yes. I, I like how, how my character just keeps getting like excited and impressed with what he sees in Japan, even the most simplest things. Uh, well, yes. It really must be huge. Yes, yes, yes. We already established that everything in this station is huge. Yes, everything. Except for Akira. She's not huge. <laughs> okay, anyways, we'll be boarding the subway now, so you better keep close to us. Oh, yes, I'll be very close to you too. Oh, yes, especially Makoto. Yes, yes, yes. You're not gonna be jealous by that, right, Akira? No offense or anything, just because I kind of want to have some protection, you know, some airbags. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. That's just terrible. Huh? Where are we going? Where else? Our, our house, of course. Finally! Okay, thank you, thank you. We might be finally be going to their house. Oh, ho, ho, right, I forgot we were going to your house. And what's up with her, uh, Akira's face right there? Look look at her face. It seems like she's up to something. What 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 is she up to something? I I think she's like uh pay uh pay, patronizing us just because we're so uh so stupid, you know, it's like Psh, this stupid foreigner. <laughs> it's already so late. We'll have plenty of time to show you around the city tomorrow. Ah oh, yes, 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 it's getting late. So let's go back to your home. Thanks, I appreciate it. Okay. All right, now uh, what's this? Okay, we're here. Wow, I didn't know that your home is in the alley. Okay, I uh, wish you would have told me. <laughs> oh, it's kind of funny if these two girls are living in the alleyway in front of a McDonald's or a Japanese version of McDonald's right here. <laughs> this is. Yeah, this is the closest station. This is the closest station to our house. Oh yeah, oh, so that's the subway station right here. Okay, that's kind of cool. And I kind of see some vending machines right here in the background, right uh, right to the left of a curious chest right here. I wonder if they have like a panty uh, panty vending machine, like used panty vending, vending machines. That would be kind of cool. I guess I'll be coming here a lot over the next few days. Yes, indeed. Yes, I'll be coming around the mountain as she goes. And I see two big mountains in front of me. And two tiny hills. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Anyways, it's quite late. Uh, we'll head straight home tonight and show you around tomorrow. Ah, uh, yes. Okie dokie. Hopefully, they're not going to want to wear the same clothes tomorrow. Wow. This is... This is what? What, what are you trying to say? The town where Makoto and Akira lives. Hmm, okay, uh, I don't see anything special about it, and I don't know why would you be, be like, wow. What's so impressive about this? Impressive about this. Even so... <laughs> What's wrong? You look uh, disorientated. Yes, of course I look disorientated. I'm in a new, a new environment. I don't know where the hell I am. My survival depends on Akira and Makoto. It's a regular suburb, it's not that strange, is it? It sure is! This stuff is completely foreign to me. Yes, that's why I am a foreigner. Well, what's so foreign about it? <laughs> Look at her making her that face again. She's like, that stupid foreigner. <laughs> what a dumbass. Go back to where you came from. <laughs> well, like that vending machine over there, it got juiced in cigarettes and panties and... What not? <laughs> That's true, but so what? That's the kind of thing you see anywhere. It's absolutely not. I don't think you'd find that anywhere but Japan. Actually, you know, there. What the hell is wrong with this guy? I mean, there's vending machines in the USA that has uh, cigarettes and juice. I, I don't know what's what what's the issue about this. Really? 
Really? At least that's not how it is in my country, wherever, wherever the hell I'm from. I guess there could be other countries with vending machines out in uh, residential corners. Oh, okay, so that's what they're talking about. Like how there's vending machines in residential areas, How? but in like countries in the United States, you only see vending machines in high population uh, public areas. Anyway, there's uh, so many stores open at this time of the night. Hey, look at that! What store is that over there? Oh, yes, 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 that's, that must be a Japanese 7-Eleven. That's a konbini. Konbini? It's short for convenience store. Okay, so so it is kind of like a 7-Eleven, but Japanese. I am from Japan. Wow. Damn, where is that from? Anyways, I am from Japan. Wow. And I, I don't know where where that from. I just it just came to my mind right now. But anyways, <laughs> you can buy things like food, magazines there, even household supplies. Oh, what kind of magazines? Mmm, yes. And what kind of? Su I wonder if they uh, sell uh, personal uh, personal items there. If you know what I mean. Yes. <laughs> they're open 24 hours, so they really really are convenient. A 24 hour store that sells all that. And within walking distance? No, oh, that's fabulous, fabulous. Now now that I think about it, if Japanese have like convenience store like every block and you know you could just like walk out, out of your house and walk to a convenience store within a couple of minutes, how come a lot of Japanese people are so thin? I mean in, in the USA Well actually never mind, in the USA we kind of drive cars everywhere. Well yes. These girls are looking at me like I'm crazy. Yes, 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 you're crazy, dude. You're fucking crazy and stupid and... God! But there's so many 24-hour stores and vending machines around. I kind of like how this game kind of, uh, 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 like, picks, like, picks something. And then it talks about it for five minutes, even though it's, like, the most simplest thing ever. Like a fucking vending machine and fucking convenience store and goddamn train tickets. All these things that would never exist outside of Japan. Mm, yes, indeed. But when I think about it, I guess it's a sign that it's really a safe area. So why do you think it's a safe area? That's Japan for you! Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, this game is, uh... Oh, <laughs> Oh, man, we're never going to get to our house in... <laughs> Wait, are we at the house now? God <laughs> Here we are, this is our home. We've... Technically, we're not in their home, we're outside of their home. But anyways, I guess, this is, I, guess I think this is a good place to pause uh, before we go into our, to our homes. So, uh, yeah. So what do you think about this game so far, guys? Uh... <laughs> oh, man, my character is just so embarrassing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll see you guys later, so goodbye. <laughs>